Christmas, of course, is a time for giving, and that's certainly true for the royal family. The Princess of Wales, along with her kids, uh, George, Charlotte and Louis, visited the baby bank sorting gifts for Christmas. It was lovely, wasn't it, Nicola? Well, here to give us all the latest is our royal editor, Sarah Hewson. Sarah, they've gone to a baby bank. Can we, I feel like we should explain what a baby bank what is. What is a baby bank? Well, it's, it's like, like a, a food bank for, for families with children. Oh, so you don't just leave your baby there? Everything... You don't leave <laughs> your baby there. Fair enough. But just everything that, that right. you might need for oh. your children. So baby grows, toys, all of the supplies that a family might be struggling to afford and obviously at this point needed more than ever. Yep. Kate's been to visit this baby bank uh, just outside Maidenhead before earlier on this year and she said she was going to come back and bring some little helpers with her oh. and she's done that and so a video was released yesterday of her taking George and Charlotte and Louis uh, to uh, help out packing up bags for uh, families this Christmas choosing Christmas gifts for children their own age and also bringing their own donations from home. Somebody said to me yesterday, oh, what do they know? But actually, I think that's quite nice, isn't it? Well, one of the things that we overheard Kate saying to George was, doesn't it make you feel good to realise you're doing something to help mm. others? And it reminded me a bit of Diana with yeah. taking yeah. William and Harry to homeless <laughs> shelters from a very early age. Her job is to teach these young children about their future role and to show them how privileged they are, but what a difference they can make. Uh, and actually, to raise awareness by doing this mm. of, of the work that baby banks do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's easy to criticise, and I'm definitely one of those people who's a bit cynical going, oh, here we go, we've got a few princes and princesses going to, you know, help the needy. But actually, you're so right. It's about the wider... Well, yeah, and also the cynic cynicism around... There's been a lot of bad publicity, yeah, particularly look, around Kate Got his Lambrook recently. shirt on, by the way. I bought many of them in my time. Got his little Lambrook shirt on, Louis. I, well, I thought they must have come straight from school because it was done one evening uh, last month that they made the visit. And, yes, look, it makes for great PR. Yeah. But um, if you're going to take a step back, it makes for great PR. It's showing these kids what their future job is about. Exactly. It's showing them that not everybody lives in a palace that there are people who are very much mm. in need. It's a difficult one, isn't it? It's because a tough I think one, but, you know, it's, good, it, it, it's, it's a really important it's... thing for her to show them and to get them involved. Yes, totally. I think I, there's something really, really special, I think, about children learning that uh, at a young age. And we can I, can I surprise Nicola? I know, you could, hear, you could hear their voices and their accents. I was absolutely fascinated. Yeah. I need to donate can some I, can stuff. I, can I just say, actually, I rarely do this. That is fantastic. We're both having babies. I'm not obviously physically having one, and we're lucky. There are plenty of people having kids, so baby bank's a great idea, right? Yeah, and my, me and my kids are going to have a sort out tonight, and we're doing a donation to Little Village in one Brilliant. for tomorrow. For their Love friends. Friends. Nice. Appeal. Love it. <laughs> and on to our next story now, oh, yes. which is Prince Harry, who has had to pay £48,000 in legal fees. This has been blown up to be quite a large amount, but it doesn't sound like a lot when it comes to uh, lawyers. No, it's probably, what, a few seconds or minutes of the Netflix documentary, <laughs> yeah. maybe. I don't know. Um, it, it is um, £48,000 that he is having to pay in legal fees to Associated Newspapers Publishers of the Mail on Sunday. This is part of his libel case against the Mail on Sunday over an article <clears throat> it published last year about his battle with the Home Office over security. He tried to get their defence of honest opinion thrown out. Mm. He hasn't been allowed to. A judge has ruled that it should go to trial, and so he's had to pay the uh, costs on this particular part. The trial itself goes ahead in the spring next year. And the judge, did, did they rule that they think the defence of honest opinion could actually work. The Associated Newspapers stands a good chance of being able to put that defence across. And this, is, this brings up a wider issue here between, you know, when people are reading newspapers, you need to really be certain whether you're reading an opinion column yes. or a factual piece of reporting. And I guess that's something they're going to go into detail about. Yeah. And, and what this article particularly said was that Prince Harry had tried to keep his government legal battle secret. Then when the story came out, his PR machine sprung into action and tried to spin it into a positive. We have a minute and we have to clear this up. We showed a photo, a picture of the Christmas car that the Prince and Princess of Wales showed <laughs> yesterday. Uh, Nicola said it was... Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, but none of us, none of us got this. He hasn't got a middle finger. What we the hell? We didn't see this Look yesterday. at this. We did we were not talking see about this. this. What on earth has happened to Prince Louis's middle finger? Well, 
eagle-eyed viewers had spotted. Well, it's not really eagle-eyed. You want to put that well, out? We didn't spot it. No, we I can't know, even see are. the camera, love. Um, that he was missing his middle finger, yeah. and there was a suggestion that they were photoshopped, and there was a suggestion that you can't yeah. see William's leg or Kate's leg. Uh, but apparently, there is no photoshopping. It looks like I don't know if you can see it on my hand. It looks like Louis is just. Tucking his, his, tucking his middle finger. Well, I bet that's made yeah. your life, having that sorted. Sarah Hewson, <laughs> fantastic. All the important news for you this morning. I love that Louis <laughs> always just manages to make himself the centre of attention. I love He's that. not going to be the spare. He's going to have an absolute ball in his life. Thank you, I Sarah Hewson. King.